Tiger Woods, Justin Leonard, and Tom Watson. These are just some of the men who have made history every time they entered a golf course. Golf goes a long way back, but there are certain shots that keep their memory alive for decades to come. Today, we'll be taking a look at 10 of the greatest and sometimes the most unlikely shots in golf history. Let's dive in. First up, at number 10, we have Tiger Woods at the 2008 US Open. Tiger Woods is undoubtedly the greatest golfer of all time. There are very few people in any sport who can confidently hold the title of greatest of all time. But with Woods, there's almost no dispute. That's why it should come as no shock to anyone that Woods will be mentioned numerous times in this video. He's also going to start off this list, and there might be no better way to start than with his classic shot at the 2008 US Open. With one bad leg, Tiger Woods was ready to take the 18th hole in the final round of the event. He ended up pulling it off in spectacular fashion as always. This moment went on to become a classic that people would remember for years to come. But the funny thing is, this isn't even the best shot that Woods has ever taken. Keep watching to find out his best one. Up next is number 9 with Constantino Rocca at the 1995 British Open. Constantino Rocca is considered the greatest Italian golfer ever. Even though Rocca is not always in the same conversation as Tiger Woods, to his country, he was up there. While Rocca has had numerous great shots throughout his career, most notably his hole-in-one at the 1995 Writers' Cup, there is perhaps no greater shot he ever took than the one at the 1995 British Open. It was the finals of the event, and Rocca was at the 72nd hole at the St. Andrews Golf Course in Scotland. He needed a birdie to be able to make it to the playoffs with John Daly, but all hope was seemingly lost when Rocca's shot led to the ball falling into the Valley of Sin. It was almost impossible to get a perfect shot from here, but Rocca did just that. The Italian golfer miraculously made a putt of almost 100 feet for birdie, safely forcing the Open Championship to enter a playoff. He didn't end up winning the event, but this was one moment that went down in the history books, and for good reason. At number 8, we have Jack Nicklaus at the 1972 US Open. Before there was Tiger Woods, there was Jack Nicklaus. He was one of the most dominating golfers of the 20th century, and is often credited for making golf popular as a sport to speculate and enjoy watching on TV. One of the reasons why Jack was so successful in making golf popular across the US was his ability to make the game exciting. His shots were truly a sight to see and one of his greatest hits was at the 1972 US Open. During the 17th hole in the final round of the event, Jack Nicklaus hit a spectacular one iron off the flagstick to gimme range to seal the championship. The shot was the epitome of winning with style, and the fact that Jack hit it under the pressure of being in the finals of a US Open speaks volumes about his greatness as a player. In seventh place, we have Birdie Kim at the 2005 US Women's Open. It's not just men's golf that gets all the love. Women's golf is now more popular than ever, and you can thank Birdie Kim in part for making that happen. The South Korean golfer had a rather short-lived career due to her later injuries, but the time that she did play golf made an impact so great that we still feel it today. At the 2005 US Women's Open, Birdie Kim was a completely unknown face, but she still overcame the odds and found herself leading during the 72nd hole of the game. The fact that she made it this far was pretty surprising, but no one really expected her to win the whole thing. But that's exactly what she did. She hit her second shot into the greenside bunker and then holed out for Birdie, securing the win and making one of the most surprising wins in the history of women's golf. Coming up next, Tiger Woods at the 2005 Masters is in 6th place. We're back to Tiger Woods for this entry. No one really needs an introduction to Tiger Woods' classic shot at the 2005 Masters. For anyone that started watching golf in the past 20 years or so, it might as well be the greatest shot of all time. It's the final round of the event. Tiger Woods is at the 16th hole, and he's about to take a shot at it. The pressure is building up, and once he takes the shot, the ball starts rolling toward the target for what seems like forever. It curves in the exact way that Woods was expecting it to, and after spending an intense few seconds right outside the hole, it finally falls in. It was truly one of the most exciting moments in the history of golf, 
one that arguably even non-fans could remember at the back of their head. But stay tuned, because we have some even more exciting shots lined up for you. Following this is Jack Nicklaus' classic 1986 Masters shot in 5th place. Jack Nicklaus' shot at the 1986 Masters might just be his greatest performance of all time. There was never really a shortage of exciting performances when it came to Jack Nicklaus, and even though he was in a bit of a downturn in his career at this point, he made up for it with a single shot. In fact, when he took the shot in the final round of the game, he didn't even have to look to see where the ball went. In true badass fashion, Nicholas simply picked up his tee and walked over to his son. He knew he just hit the best shot of his life. The moment remains etched in golf history to this day, and it remains one of the greatest comebacks in the history of golf. In fourth place, we have Bob Tway's 1986 PGA Championship shot. Bob Tway is often forgotten when talking about some of golf's greatest players. Even though the American has eight PGA Tour victories under his belt, his name couldn't stand the test of time. However, there's one thing that people still remember him by, and that's the 1986 PGA Championship Finals. Tway was tied with Greg Norman on the 72nd hole. After going from deep rough to a deep greenside bunker, his chances for victory were non-existent. But Tway took the bunker shot, and it went straight for a birdie. A lot of people consider the shot a fluke, since Tway was so far deep in the bunker. He himself seemed surprised by it, but it still remains an iconic moment that'll probably never be forgotten. Starting the top three is Tom Watson at the 1982 US Open. During the final round of the 1982 US Open, it seemed like Jack Nicklaus was set to win during the 17th hole. When Tom Watson hit his tee shot at par 3 in the green side rough, it seemed like it was all but over for him. But since his chances of winning were so low anyways, instead of trying to play it safe, Watson went straight for a birdie, and he succeeded. It was one of the most difficult shots ever played at the US Open, but Watson managed to uncrown the king while doing it with the greatest of ease. In second place, Larry Mize at the 1987 Masters. During the final round of the 1987 Masters, Greg Norman found himself tied one again. This time around, he was tied with Larry Mize, and all seemed well for Norman as Mize found himself with an impossible chip. But as we all know by now, Larry Mize has one of the greatest chips in the history of golf. This shot in particular had to be perfectly timed, perfectly placed, and perfectly executed or else Mize would be knocked out of the game. In the end, we all know what happened. Mize took the shot and it became an instantly classic moment that remains the highlight of his career. And finally, in first place, we have Justin Leonard at the 1999 Ryder Cup. This is undisputedly the greatest shot in the history of golf, and it took place in what was perhaps the greatest event in the history of golf. During the finals of the 1999 Ryder Cup, the American team was behind an impossible margin. But eventually, it came down to Justin Leonard versus Jose Maria Olazabal on the 17th hole. Leonard had to deal with an extremely long putt that even the greatest golfers couldn't handle. Leonard needed the right combination of luck and skill to make this victory a possibility, and against all odds, he took the shot and did it. It was the greatest comeback victory in the history of the Ryder Cup, and it canonized the event as part of golf folklore. That's a wrap for this video. What's your favorite shot in the history of golf? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.